This is the iPhone 13 mini. I'm going to do a glass only replacement on this device. The first thing to do is to remove two screws at the bottom of the device and start the removal process of the screen. We need to remove the screen of this iPhone 13 mini first. After that, I can work separating the glass from the screen of the device. So in order to remove the screen, I'm going to hit the front of the device multiple times with my heat gun. The heat gun is set at the highest temperature and I'm going to monitor the screen to avoid having any damage to the screen by letting the device being on. You can see currently I am using a suction cup and you can see the screen is getting separated slightly from the body of the device at the bottom. With enough gap, I inserted a guitar pick between the screen and the body of the device and after that I started to hit the screen of the device again in order to have the double sided tape ready. The challenging part here is the broken glass. The broken glass is at the edge of the device and this makes it very difficult to remove the screen without damaging anything. So what I did was to hit the area where I'm going to work currently. You can see the glass is broken on that area and I took my time in order to lift the screen slightly piece by piece in order to have enough gap between the screen and the body of the device to avoid damaging the screen while trying to remove the screen. Always reheat the side of the device where you currently working on and if it gets difficult hit that area it is going to help you remove the screen safely without damaging the screen. You can do all this with a common hair dryer it is going to take you more time because it does not heat as much as using a heat gun but it is possible. You can see I was successfully able to detach the screen of this iPhone 13 mini and currently you need to remove the retaining plate before removing the retaining plate there are screws that you need to remove and after that we can disconnect the flex cables that are attached to the screen of the device. You need to disconnect the battery cable first, after that the cable in the middle of the screen, the other one is up in the top of the screen. The damage on this screen is very strange, it looks like something pointy was pushed against the screen and you can even see the mark on the camera cover. Fortunately the screen is not badly damaged, there is only some dead pixels on the area where the screen was damaged. I added some tape on the flex cables in order to have them in place before starting working on the screen. We need to go in the first layer between the glass and the first layer of the screen. This is the glass replacement kit for this iPhone 13 mini. The kit comes with everything that you need in order to perform a glass only replacement on your device. The first thing that you want to do is to hit one area of the screen. I hit the bottom of the screen for 5 to 10 seconds at the highest setting on my heat gun. Next you need to take this tool, this very thin blade and insert it between the glass and the screen. Once inserted, this is how it should look. Hit that area of the screen for at least 5 seconds now and after that push the tool slightly inside. If it gets difficult, stop. After we have this small opening, we can start working with the wire in order to start removing the glass. This repair kit gives you the minimum in order to replace the glass on your iPhone 13 mini. But using a heat gun and having the screen slightly warm is going to give you a better result than not using any heat. They provided a sticky pad that is going to hold the device while you're trying to use the wire but not having the heat gun directly on the screen of the device is going to make it a little bit difficult to do this repair. Inside their kit they have a small thermal pad that is going to help you know that the screen is safe if you hit the screen of the device and while you're trying to use the wire. I think the best way to do this is a two person job. One is working on the wire and the other person is working with the heat gun and making sure that the screen is not getting too hot to the point that the screen is going to get damaged. You can certainly do it alone, you will spend more time in the whole process. If I were to do this alone, I will use their sticky pad to hold the screen. I will then add the small sticky pad for the thermal sensor on the area where I'm going to work directly. Next, I will use a heat gun to hit the area of the screen where I'm going to work to 80 degrees and make sure that I do not go beyond 80 degrees and after that, immediately use the wire in order to move from the bottom of the device and go up. When the screen cools down, you will feel it in the wire, it will be difficult to move and I will reheat the screen again. As I work with the wire and move up, I'm going to move the thermal sensor up also in order to monitor the temperature of the screen. If you're going to do that, make sure that you add some heat resistance tape on the flex cables to make sure that they are not exposed to too much heat. On my setup on the video, I use a machine that can hold the screen and also hit the screen at the same time. So it is basically the same thing, but I can control the temperature and hold it at 80 degrees. 
So the screen of this iPhone 13 mini, something pointy was used in order to break the screen. So I'm not really sure after using the wire and passing beyond that point if the small pieces of glass didn't puncture the screen. So this is something that I'm worried about. Also at the top right of the screen, the glass was not fully detached from the screen. So this is why I'm moving the screen back onto the hot plate and use the wire in order to cut into that area and separate the glass from the screen but it seems to be very difficult and not the same as what i did with the iphone 12. you can see i was able to do a little bit but it still has the glue and the glass binded together at the top of the screen so at this point i decided to remove the bottom portion of the screen and leave the upper portion of the screen and started testing the screen to make sure that it is still the same as before the screen does not seem to have any further damage it is the same as before so here I decided to add the solution that will help me clean the screen and remove all the glue in hoping that it can help me remove the piece of glass that is still stuck on the screen. So I added that solution multiple times at the top of the screen to make sure that it can start working and I waited a few minutes in order for it to start working. In your case if you use the wire and was able to remove all the glass and you do not have the same situation as me, you can simply use the solution in order to start cleaning the screen and remove all the glue. I decided to use the very thin blade in order to help me remove the piece of glass that is still stuck on the screen, but it was not working as I I wanted it to work and I added more solution in order to help me remove the glass. The solution that I used is a glue remover. It is called Goo Off Pro Strength Remover. I used the same solution on the iPhone 12 that I did the same repair on. Everything worked out well. I didn't have any issues with the screen and using that solution didn't damage the screen. Currently, I decided to use my blade to cut the glue that is at the top of the screen. This can be very dangerous for the screen, but I found out that this is the only way in order to remove that piece of glass that is at the top of the screen. Apple decided to use a bit of glue on that area, the same glue that they use for their back cover, their back glass, and this is a very strong glue and it is very difficult to remove. This is why it can be a real pain in order to remove that piece of glass that is at the top near the notch. So if I were to do this again, I will start with the blade and not use the solution first. Since hitting the screen after removing the glass can be dangerous for the screen, this is why the blade is the best option, at least for the area where the glass is still stuck to the frame of the screen. If you do not want to use the blade, simply try what I'm doing now, pull the glass from right to left and push on it and see if the glass is able to be removed out of the frame of the device. All this while the solution that I had applied to the screen has dried and this is not a good thing as the solution is to remove the glue. If you want to use the solution, make sure that you remove all the glass first. What I did was to remove the piece of glass that was stuck at the top of the screen, but as you can see it didn't work out. You can clearly see that there is too much glue at the top of the screen and this should be the same as the one that are on the edge of the device, the corners of the device. Hopefully this is a problem that I only face and on your case you do not have to face this issue. I tested the screen again to make sure that it is still working as before. Now I'm going to work in cleaning the screen. I just added a small portion of the solution on the screen and I started to move my finger on the screen to make sure that all the glue is soaked with that solution. Using the goo off solution and let it dry is not good for the screen. This is the best way to do this. You need to soak the screen with the goo off and work directly in removing the glue that is on the screen. Make sure that it is not dried because it can damage the screen. And also make sure that there is minimal spill of that solution on the edge of the device and work directly in removing the glue. Just simply brush the glue slightly on the screen and pull it down or pull it to the side. You will see the glue is going to be removed out of the screen. Also using a microfiber cloth is going to give you the best solution and avoid scratching the screen. You need to continue working on the screen in order to make it very clean before you can say cleaning the screen is done. So near the end I was soaking the microfiber cloth in the goo off solution and wiping the screen down. So everything is clean, all the glue has been removed out of the screen but I am starting to see some snowflake near the top of the screen. 
So after that, I use some rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, in order to clean the screen and make sure that everything is clear and the screen is ready for the installation of the glass. So I believe all the snowflake stuff around the top of the screen is mainly due to what I did in order to remove the glass. And also having the solution dried on the screen might have been the cause of this also. So remember, no solution until you remove all the glass. This is the local glue that was provided by the kit and this is what i'm going to use in order to install the new glass the local glue is very thin and good and tends to move fast with gravity so doing this with the local glue you cannot avoid any spill on the edge of the device and also near the notch i used almost all the local glue and this is how it looks now what you need to do is to align the glass and put it slowly on top of the local glue and make sure that you apply a small pressure for the glass to start to stick on the local glue. Make sure that you do not go too fast because you risk to create some bubbles and the bubbles are going to be a pain in doing this repair. As I said, the local glue moves with gravity. If you want the glue to go on one side, put that side down and it is going to absorb the glue on that direction. Here I'm trying to push the glue on the top of the device, make sure that the top of the device is full of glue and I do not have any bubbles or air on that area and after that I can start the UV light and cure that portion of the screen. As you saw me do it on the video, if the gravity is not working, you can apply a small pressure on the screen and it is going to push the glue on that direction. I had no bubbles this time but if you do, you will need to apply pressure on the screen to push the bubbles on the outside near the edge of the screen. I was firmly holding the screen and the glass together to make sure that they are perfectly aligned and I started using the UV light in order to cure the top portion of the screen which is completely good and it is good to be cured now. You can see I have glue near the camera and where the sensor are going to sit but this can be removed later after the glue has completely cured. So I did the same for the bottom portion of the screen. I made sure that all the air are out of that area of the screen and everything is black and it is ready for the full cure of the glue. Inside the kit, you're going to find a small UV light that is going to help you cure the glue. With the small UV light, you can cure the top of the screen and move from the top going down and cure the whole screen. My UV light was on for a few hours. I let the device sit and I went to do something else. With the small UV light inside the kit, you can do the same. You simply need to use your USB and power on the small UV light. Use the UV light very close to the screen and move it from top to bottom if the screen is is ready for the cure. For the spill of the local glue, you can use isopropyl alcohol in order to clean it inside the sensor and the camera area. Also on the edge of the device, you can use local glue to wipe that down in order to remove all the glue. So here the small speaker mesh should be positioned and installed with a small amount of glue on both extremities in order for it to be stuck on that area. If you do not want to use glue, what you can do is to install that small mesh of the speaker at the top of the screen before you start curing the screen. You've seen it, the screen is still working, the glass has been replaced and the glue has cured. It is time to reinstall the retaining plates and the screws and close the device. The kit also comes with a double-sided tape, a new double-sided tape for the screen for the installation of the screen. So this repair kit is very convenient but it is not perfect. The only issue with this repair kit is the edge of the screen which is not clearly glued as it was before because Apple used actual glue in order to seal the edge of the screen, the black bars and this is not the case with this repair kit. The best way to do this like Apple did it, you will use the wire to remove the broken glass, remove the plastic portion that is around the screen. You need to use heat and a blade in order to remove that small frame on the back of the screen. Next you will clean the screen and remove all the glue and after that reinstall the new glass on the screen then the last step will be to install the small plastic frame on the back of the screen 